You are watching the Los Angeles Lakers report by Chat Sports. I am Marshall Green. In today's video, we're going to preview the second round matchup of the Los Angeles Lakers versus the Golden State Warriors. Ho, ho, ho. We have been all waiting for this one. LeBron, Steph Curry, here we are again. Battle of the West Coast. It's also a battle here of subscribers here at Chat Sports. You know about the Lakers report. Pretty cool channel. We also got Warriors today. Channel stinks, but they're catching up to us in subs. And it's a race to 50K. If you want to beat the Warriors, sub for Lakers dubs. Someone told me inside the NBA, the first channel to get to 50,000 subs is going to win this series. Let's not leave it up to chance. We're 203 subs away. Hit that big red button. Part five, LeBron versus Curry. Get your popcorn ready. It's kind of crazy because this is a different version of LeBron. I think just like it is a different version of Steph Curry. I think Steph Curry at this point could be called the best player in the NBA, and I don't think you can really debate it. But I think when LeBron is at his best, he could be still considered the best player in the NBA. These guys have faced off in the playoffs 22 times. Seems like every year there for a little while, it was LeBron and Curry in the finals. LeBron has the better numbers. Curry has a better win percentage but man oh man are these guys always fireworks when they play and I expect nothing short of that when they do face off here in the second round of the Western Conference when you look at kind of the results here 2015 dubs one in six 2016 Cavs one in seven and in 27 20 and 2018 it was an onslaught of Colton State basketball over the Cleveland Cavaliers shout out KD um Curry was still great in those finals as well, but it was really KD's time to shine. Whew, man, this one's going to be a lot of fun. A lot of superstars, a lot of energy. I'm really, really looking forward to this one. But before we get rolling on today's show, I want to ask this question. Who is the better player all time? I think there's a clear and obvious choice in this one, but I'll let you guys duke it out in the comment section down below. Type 30 for the chef or 6 for the king. We'll get to my keys to victory for the Los Angeles Lakers coming up in a second. But if you want to win some money, listen up and go to chatsports.com slash underdog Lakers and use the promo code chat LA. Experience the thrill of fantasy sports like never before with our new sponsor, Underdog Fantasy, the industry's easiest and fastest growing app. Put your basketball knowledge to the test and their pick'em game by forecasting whether your chosen player will have higher or lower stat totals this week and you just might win up to 20 times your money. Register using promo code chat LA and double your first deposit up to $100. Head to chatsports.com slash uh, chatsports.com slash underdog Lakers or find it in the app store and make sure to use our promo code chat LA. I went with the three player lineup for Tuesday's game. I'm expecting lower than 18 and a half points for Bam and a big game from AD and LeBron James. I'm clicking, I'm selecting the higher on both of those. You can use my picks. You can fade my picks. Just do it with our proud sponsor underdog fantasy at chatsports.com slash underdog Lakers. And the promo code is chat LA. Lakers-Warriors, a fascinating matchup of two different styles. The Lakers' slow pace and awesome defense and top-heavy roster, whereas the Warriors play at a lightning pace. They shoot a lot of threes. Chef Curry, Klay Thompson, Andrew Wiggins, both teams have finals experience, and I don't think the NBA could have asked for a better matchup in round two. Here's the series schedule for the Lakers and Warriors. Game one is on the 2nd of May at 7 p.m. Pacific time. Then you got a day off, and then you're back at action for game two at 6 p.m. Pacific time. Then you got one day break again as you travel from Golden State to L.A., and you play on the 6th. Really, all these games are just one day day apart one off day I guess is the phrasing I should use there and they are coming quick and fast game one right around the corner let's ride I think the first key to victory for the Los Angeles Lakers is finding a way to get a split in the bay head back to LA head back to the crip 1-1 so you can get that X Staples Center it's still Staples Center it ain't the crip even though it's a pretty cool name shout out to crypto um Get a split. Find a way. Find a way to head back to L.A. 1-1. One, one. 
Slow the pace down, for sure. That's going to be something I'm definitely looking for. How is LeBron James going to manage the pace? Because I think he knows, and I think Darvin Ham knows, if this becomes a blistering pace of up and down basketball, that falls in a place that is more beneficial for the Golden State Warriors. That's how they want to play. They want to play up. They want to play down. They want to shoot threes. They want to be fast break. That's not really the Lakers game. They want to slow it down. They want to hunker in the half court on defense. That's when the Lakers defense is at their best, when they get set and they don't allow fast break opportunities. A key that I'm looking for is make Draymond Green shoot the basketball. Um, it seems like ever since that game seven where he had like 30 plus points, he can't make a shot. Uh, and if you could force Draymond Green to be a shooter, uh, you're going to be sitting pretty in this series. I do love the way Draymond plays basketball, though. He's rough, rugged. He attacks the boards. He plays defense. One of the best dribble handoff players of all time. Shout out to the illegal moving screens that he sets. But make him be an offensive threat. And I think you're going to be looking good for the Lakers. you got to run these shooters off the line. You have to. Hand down, man down. And if Steph Curry and Klay Thompson and DiVincenzo and Wiggins and you let these guys, Jordan Poole, you let these guys get open looks and uh, this could be a short series for LA. You got to find a way to get a hand up, close out and run shooters off the line. If they're getting open threes, it's going to be raining threes and for the blue and yellow, not the purple and gold. You got to get some bench scoring help as well. Someone on the Lakers bench has to step up. In round one, it was Rui Hachimura. He was really good for the first half of that series. And I think that he could be another difference maker in this series. He has a really good mid-range. He can score off the bounce. He needs someone to step up. Maybe it's Malik Beasley. Maybe it's Rui Hachimura continues to play well. Um, Schroeder, maybe he gets some big minutes and he starts to play well. Uh, you need someone outside of LeBron and Anthony Davis and I guess Austin Reeves and D'Lo. You need one of those guys to step up. I gave you five keys. And I got all the keys. But I want to hear you. Give us your key to victory down below for the Los Angeles Lakers right now in the comment section. This is what Draymond Green had to say about the Lakers. He said, they play a really good brand of basketball. They defend, they present some challenges on the offensive end as well. It'll be up to us to meet that force with force. You know they're going to rebound that basketball. They've done that incredibly well. And then, also for us, to get into their things, we're going to need to get into form uh, get into from an offensive standpoint. It'll be a chess match, as it always is. Steve Kerr is great in those. I always trust Steve in a chess match. He was great in this past series. He He's always been great, so I'm looking forward to actually getting our game plan tomorrow. It'll be a good series, and then obviously you got Steph versus LeBron. First time we've seen this series since 2018. Kind of wild. It's been five years Honestly, it doesn't feel like five years. Five years since LeBron and Steph. I'm looking forward to the trash talk. Um, it seems like in those five years, LeBron and Draymond Green have become old buddy-buddy. Um, what's going to happen when LeBron gets teabagged by Draymond Green again? Is he going to call him the B-word? We'll find out. Get your popcorn ready. Let me know who you got. I can't wait for this one. Um, that's going to be a lot of fun, man. It really, really is. Who are you rolling with? Lakers, type L-A-L, or if you're rolling with the Warriors, type G-S-W. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. If you made this far in the video, hit that thumbs up icon.